hello, welcome. This is Gigi, and this is a weekly tarot reading for my Taurus. Hi, Taurus. How are you? I want to say that this is a general reading, so just general, okay? You guys know what that means. I also want to give a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much, you guys. I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you for those who've been supporting me. Very grateful for that. Um, at this moment, Taurus, there is an assembly in your 10th house. So when there's more than six planets in one sign, it's or six planet in one sign, it's called an assembly. So there's an assembly in your 10th house of career, work, reputation, okay? So that's what we're going to look into here. Um, Taurus, you don't have to be the participant in your reading. You could be an observant in your reading, okay? So if it doesn't resonate, you just don't try to read too much into it, okay? And let's start your reading and see what the message is. Oh, yes. One thing is I always recommend in my reading to go watch the previous reading. Okay. I always forecast things ahead. Okay. That could be sometimes um, weeks and months. So I will put a link for the previous month of January in the video. And I recommend you go and watch those. I'm sure there's something that will resonate in this reading that is uh, happening for you today. Okay. Or right now. So let's start your reading and see what the message is. This is a timeless reading for Taurus. Mm. Okay. Something changing here. It should be improving. That's what it says. Okay. Wheel of Fortune, something quick. There's some quick change happening here. All right. I kind of feel also uh, it could be related to uh, your fortune, your money, but also maybe some type of relationship. Okay. Something with the, because I see with, for me, this, this card, the Wheel of Fortune is Pluto. And Pluto is in your ninth house of higher knowledge. So it could be also education okay but i feel that maybe some of you are in put in a position against your will or maybe that you wanted it where you have to really uh take some type of step okay or take a position in terms of you and others that could be at work maybe at work you are forced to take some type of a position here it's looking at the five of pentacles so there's something related to some financial difficulties here, okay? Maybe someone else around you is uh, dealing with some uh, financial problems, okay? And you may not be aware of that, but the Yerofen here, which is another major arcana, which is a very positive energy, it talks about a safe and protected union, okay? So you might be the one uh, uh, providing protection to someone, okay? You might be the one. It doesn't have to be like a tangible protection. It could be just like, but you... Uh, assuring your support for someone or intervening in order to support someone, something of that nature, okay? The Yerofen, I love this energy, okay? Because this one imposes respect. So you're using your reputation. Your reputation that you have accumulated is uh, allowing others to listen to you. People are paying attention to you, all right? It's a fire energy too. It could uh, normally it represent Taurus. It represent you. So you're very strong. And you have some type of power in people's life, okay? You could be the judge in some situation where you have to judge things, okay? Maybe you're protecting someone, okay? Someone who could have been rejected, Maybe you're protecting a child or maybe you can, you could be welcoming a new child or you could be welcoming someone someone vulnerable in your house, in your home. You could be providing shelter to someone here, okay, who's having some type of difficulty. The um, This energy, uh, the temperance is in the reverse. So this is kind of like a conflicting energy because this is mostly like based on a religious belief. And uh, the temperance is based on spiritual belief, but the temperance is in a reverse, okay? So I feel like there is some type of negative surrounding that someone has been dealing with, difficulty, and someone has been really dealing with a, hard, a, a harsh judgment against them, and you're, you're really 
noticing it okay you're you're noticing it and you're this could be changing this could be changes because of you you could be someone locked okay you could be really someone who's able and capable to protect someone that is huge okay i think that uh you're gonna get really busy in the future okay um there's destiny here something about cycle of life okay i i kind of feel that uh you are getting involved because of higher belief right is right wrong is wrong but also there's something that's kind of like bigger than you here okay you're meaning it's, it's very positive meaning that i don't know maybe you you picked up on something or you went deeper in in some type of uh belief and you're just with a temperance in the reverse it's kind of like you know you're, you're someone is surrounding so someone has surrounding themselves with negative energy all right there's someone who's really frustrated here okay it could be because someone has been ignored for some reason you're you're just in the center of that you're taking position you're seeing it and you're changing it all right you could have been saying maybe you heard someone talking trash about someone and you could have said well you know what i don't agree with you i don't see that i don't understand your position okay but it's it's really you took a decision okay because it's bigger than you the year of friend, okay you want to really and it could be in your family too all right or it could be at work not of pentacles in the reverse you're you're you are not investing in in this predicament of um rejecting someone okay nine of pentacles is in a reverse normally this energy for me is about investment all right okay someone who wants to invest in something someone wants to learn something someone wants to progress they want to uh become better it's in a reverse so someone is really you're noticing someone maybe someone has been uh it could have been you maybe someone has been preventing uh someone to grow in their career okay by just keeping them down or keeping them low it could be in any areas of life okay but that's going to change because you're noticing that could be you there's some effort being made here with the seven of pentacles all right this is my card of uh effort okay so you're seeing you're acknowledging someone effort uh regardless you may but you may not see eye to eye with their their way of life okay you may not agree with their spiritual uh understanding okay you may not agree with that but what you believe is what is right is right regardless of, of someone belief or someone a condition okay you're not you're you're being the exact opposite of what our people around are doing is you're not going with the group you're refusing to go with the group okay the group could be like just um like the majority of people maybe the majority of people are bullying someone and i say bullying it could be just someone's being rude okay that could be a sibling that could be uh, a partner a colleague a neighbor okay you have noticed some really behavior that you find you know profoundly unacceptable okay you have heard people saying bad things and you're like wait a minute no i don't agree with that and that's not even true okay i see you doing this well that's very good taurus something is bigger than you like right now you're just you're not because in maybe in the past okay you saw things happening or you heard you didn't really take a position right you trying to remain impartial but i see you taking a position because of you can definitely see someone being unfairly treated and that's not that's not sitting well with you king of swords is in a reverse the chariot in a reverse and the, and the five of swords Ooh, you're witnessing things you're something in your mind that is changing okay king of swords is in a reverse this is someone who's really abusive okay someone who likes to bully people the king of swords in a reverse is someone who's really harsh it could be violent too okay someone who hurt people behind people's back okay who's not happy with not having a certain control they're not happy they can't control you maybe or they can't control someone else okay or because they're not having the position that they wish to have in a situation which could be a family a work 
neighbor, some some situation, they're not happy about how things are turning out because the will of fortune is about things changing, all right? It's a change of position. They're not happy with that. Be mindful of that, okay? I think that with the five of swords here, my Taurus, you're aware of the lies and the betrayal. You're aware that someone was going to betray someone. You could have been the one who stopped them, all right? But you, you're aware that someone was being uh, very hostile towards someone. The chair is in a reverse. Uh, we are after a moon, a new moon, which is uh, today was the 12th of February. It was a new moon in your 10th house of Aquarius. Okay, the chariot, okay, let me show you this card in this position. Okay, it, it came in a reverse, first of all. Okay, so there's something here that is unjustified. It's absolutely unacceptable because the chariot is about um the chariot is about okay let me see is it better okay the chariot is is about really uh it's about in this position it's about loyalty okay but it's in a reverse okay so you're not you're not supporting something you're not supporting someone and that could be someone that you used to support like I said, it could be a sibling, it could be a neighbor, it could be a partner, a husband, a daughter, a son. There's someone that regardless of who they are in the family, five of pentacles, it's like it's like a family energy. You're refusing to, to go in, in that direction. You're not supporting them anymore. Okay, you, you refuse to see them as... Uh, victorious okay the chair in the reverse it could represent a cancer okay cancer is family all right so there's something that has to do with family here okay five of swords okay this is not for everybody okay if it doesn't resonate with you leave it behind you guys okay five of swords betrayal dishonesty someone is it's in the future okay so someone is kind of like that could be the king of swords Someone is still in the back. You have to keep an eye on that person, Taurus, because I feel like someone is not done creating havoc for someone here. And that that person is in the middle, not aware, is already vulnerable, all right? And the five, the chariot is in this position. It's about after con uh, ever having to con uh, conquer something. Okay, you're coming back after being victorious because it's the horses. It's about transport. So someone someone who could have been from a foreign place, foreign country, someone who's coming back, someone's trying to come back. This King of Swords is someone who's really, be mindful because this King of Swords, okay, is someone who's really cold with his words, like mean. Like they're not able to resonate that for them is they have a way of seeing things that is very harsh and cold and they just they can't budge all right and the will of fortune is like they're feeling some type of way which you not really giving them the support or rather the loyalty that they expect from you okay be mindful of that ten of rods five of rods in the reverse four of rods exactly seems to be something related to Maybe some uh, uh, your work at home or family. It could be a celebration. It could be a marriage. Maybe there's someone who's jealous of someone else. Uh, stability. Maybe someone is jealous of so someone working from home. You might be working from home and uh, doing some research. You could be working hard trying to work from home or having a home business or maybe you someone is working hard in creating some stability they want to create some happiness they want to create some uh maybe they want to have a home okay because the four pentacles for me those are pillar pillar okay but also you could see number 11 one 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 it's like 11 11 right okay and right now there's an assembly in Aquarius which is Aquarius is the 11th sign okay and the assembly for you is in your 10th house like does you have a role you have a comic position to take 10th house is about career also you know 10th house is also the house of Capricorn Capricorn is this is the 10th sign okay so there's a really you're at the center of it all okay you could be literally bringing 
um, stability in someone's house, I think maybe you want to help someone or you're helping someone. Someone might need your help. Four of Pentacles. Uh, sorry, four of rods, four of rods, four of rods, four of rods, okay? So someone's working really hard to create some stability for themselves. They're putting a lot of effort. They're really being disciplined. I think you're seeing that. But for some reason, this five of swords, I don't know what's the problem with that person, right? Jealousy. Someone is not able to, to become as uh, successful in their own life. Someone is not able to have maybe some type of, um, uh, how can I say, look, I feel that someone could be just jealous. Someone could just be jealous for no reason. You know, sometimes people just want us to fail. We don't even know. They don't even have to have a reason. And I keep saying, because people say, oh, I'm, you know, let's stay positive and positive. Yeah, right. But the thing is, you know, as much as you have good intentions, you could be used and people could trick you or they could betray you they could truly hurt you because you know light comes with the dark it, it goes hand by hand, hand it, it goes together okay and with the five of swords is it's in the future be mindful my taurus okay because someone's going to be upset of your position someone is expecting you someone is expecting a lot from you okay this king of swords that's a masculine energy it doesn't have to be a man okay all right it's a masculine energy but in the reverse, it really is someone who's ready to really hurt someone. It could have been someone has hurt someone too in the past. You're not you're not aware. Maybe they hurt someone in your family. Five of Pentacles, because I see blood here. Okay, because they're wearing a mask. Five of Swords. You have no idea. All of what's happening right now is you slowing. You slowly, slowly, no longer giving support. That that is making know that that is making them super mad, and In, inside you don't know because look, that person is hiding. You don't know, but that's making them feel really upset. Okay, maybe someone has a very harsh view of life of a situation that is very kind of like negative, and you just don't want to be part of it. Ten of rods here, you're ending something. No, you're realizing that it's a lot of work for you with the Yerophant in this position, for you to consult someone to, you know, as, as much as you're being compassionate and uh, patient and you're trying to help someone in speaking, it's, it's a heavy burden on you. It's a very heavy, it's very heavy for you to deal with that person. Okay. And five of rods is in a reverse. So let me show you this this card in a disposition, okay? You see this conflict here, like people would stick arguing together, all right? But it's in a reverse. It's about working together. It's, it's going to be hard. It's going to be frustrating for you to bring that person and trust that that person is in a good place. It's going to be very difficult because the temperance in a reverse is difficult to talk to that person. The temperance in the reverse is a difficulty in communicating because this person is impatient. They're indifferent. They're, they have negative energy. It's hard for you to deal with someone uh, like that. What's the message, spirit guys? Seven of swords. You have someone in your life, Taurus, that you have to really have boundaries, okay? Seven of Swords is my card of throwing someone under the bus. Someone has, in the, next to the King of Swords, the King of Swords is really, this is someone who's really, he could hurt people behind people's back. He had probably done so before because... It's in the Five of Swords. It's hiding his identity. You know, they, they like to disarm people behind their back. You see those two people? Like, you know, look at them. They're like, they're hurt. And this one is like, you could see he has a smile in his face. That could be a she too, right? Even if it's a masculine energy. And the Five of Swords is like, he likes to hurt people. 
just be mindful okay the devil is out okay all right just be very mindful of that okay because the devil likes to play many games many games with the seven of swords is, is throwing someone under the bus so someone is really purposely trying to hurt someone someone who has done it before they hurt people you be you have to be cautious careful oh this card wants to come out of your frequentation okay the fool someone who's very innocent someone's trying to you know that's what i'm saying you know you you'd be surprised how people could be deceitful the fool here you see how innocent someone's trying to start something new someone starts to go on their own way their own path the optimistic energy is card number zero they're starting from the beginning they're looking for something new they're, they have a certain innocent uh, with them they could have a dog there's a dog here okay they don't have a lot but they're going towards something okay and this king of sword is not happy i'm not sure what his business is in there it could just be jealous you don't have to have a reason okay because sometimes you're trying that someone's telling you something that like, why would they do that but that's the thing you don't have to find a reason why someone would do something it's like you know someone you know in the trains you see videos sometimes People out of nowhere try to throw someone out of the train. Under the train. I've seen it. And you're like, why? You don't have to find a reason. That's the most important thing is once you see something, follow your guts. There's some negative energy around you. Um, my toys, how much is this? I want to make it too long. Okay, I'm going to end this reading here because it's getting a little too long. Uh, I'm going to continue in the extended version, the video the link of the video will be below um also i am available for private readings private readings is based into your specific situation all right so don't forget guys to subscribe to my video before you leave like and share until next time send you lots of kisses i love you